The real game of two halves at the Jay Davidson Stadium today. Final score, Altrincham 4, Geisley 1. And we have the hat-trick hero, James Walshaw, with us. Uh, James, first hat-trick uh, for you for Altrincham this season, first hat-trick for any player. And it's turned out very well after 90 minutes, but the uh, first half was, it was pretty awful. Yeah, yeah, first half were really bad. I mean, um, a lot of us were kind of suffering from a hangover from, from the Trafford game, I think. Um, and yeah, we, we played pretty badly. Um, but we've, we've, we've turned it around second half. The managers, uh, Lee's made a few changes. Uh, we changed the system. And we've come out second half and, and performed like, like we should be doing. Um, and ultimately, we've got, got the three points, which is good for us. No qualms about uh, the half-time score. Gazi were the better side in the first half and played quite well. They've scored early on, but actually even before they scored, uh, Damien Reeves has had a very good opportunity, but he just couldn't get any purchase on his effort. Yeah, I mean, Reeves is coming at half-time and said, sorry, I should have scored, but really it's it's kind of... If he'd have scored and we'd have gone in at one all, it'd have been it wouldn't have been a true reflection on first half. Geisley deserved to be uh, to be winning and maybe should have been... 2-0 up because um, as, as you say we just didn't perform very well um, and I think Damien's just said it, it's, it's got stuck in the grass I mean the grass has been quite dry today so maybe it's, it's not entirely his fault so um, yeah although he's missed it, it, it we shouldn't have been going in drawing at half time At half time Leeson had a lot of work to do and I'm sure there were some harsh words uh, said but um, he's changed it around with uh, a really good uh, change of the team formation and we've come out all guns blazing. But uh, I'm sure that half-time dressing room wasn't a good place to be. Uh, no, it wasn't. He's, he's, he's said maybe it's a, it's a hangover, as I've, just, as I've said earlier, uh, from the Trafford game. Um, but to be fair, he didn't really give us too much of a rollicking and he's, he just calmed the situation down, made two changes, uh, brought Buzz and Junior off, um, which really is not, Nothing to do with them because we've all performed really badly the first half, um, and he's brought on um, he's brought on Bruno and James Laurie, and I think James Laurie today has made a fantastic contribution second half uh, and, and got us ticking really. Um, so yeah, it's it's the manager's um, done well for us really at half time. Yeah, it's it's not about the individuals. It's more about changing the shape of the team, and we've gone like three, four, one, two, and it's it's worked a treat. Within a few minutes, the ball's been played up to you, and uh, Reese Maynell's got his challenge all wrong, and it was just a nailed on penalty. Yeah, yeah, as you say, what a nailed on penalty. Um, the ball has come into me. Um, I've just tried to turn him, and he stuck a leg out and brought me down. Uh, a few a few of the guys, the supporters, have said to me, "But was it a dive?" Because I. I had a bit of uh, a thing for diving at Geisley, but no, it's it's definitely a penalty. Reese has said to me it's a penalty. And the penalty was very similar to the one that you scored in the pre-season friendly against Accrington. First game first uh, game for you in an Altrincham shirt. Um, fairly straightforward pre-season, there's not too much pressure on, but there was certainly pressure on that spot kick. Yeah, there, there were a lot of pressure, obviously, being against me, uh, my former club. Uh, and if you look on the video... Um, I've missed one before where I've I've gone a bit early before the, the ref's blown his whistle and um, I've used a bit of experience and stepped back, uh, kind of took a breath, uh, got my composure and as you say, I've I've put it straight down the middle uh, like I did in pre-season. So it was a, uh, a good finish and I'm, I'm happy with that. The second goal was a real bad error by Matt Clark, who's had a very, very good first half. But guys, I understand, have been struggling in the centre of their defence. And I'm afraid it came back to haunt them in the second half. And he's made an absolute schoolboy error. But you still had a bit to do and a fine finish. Yeah, he's, he's made an error. It's a pretty bad error. Um, I've, I've gambled on him missing it. Um, so I've, I've, I've took it through one-on-one. -on -one. And playing with Renshaw before, I know that he always tends to gamble when he's on a one-on-one -on -one situation so he's kind of thought I'm going to smash it across goal and he's gone down a bit early so I just thought I'll I'll uh, I'll hit it straight through middle and just hit it at him and he has gone down early and it's it's gone in so yeah I'm happy, happy with that second finish. Within a few minutes it's 3-1 and the game's absolutely transformed you've had a part to play in that good cross in from Nicky Clee you've headed it across and there was Reevesy with a reaction header. Yeah, it's, it's it's a great ball in. I've just tried to get something on it and direct it towards goal. And Damien does what what he does best and gets in that six yard box and he's, he's finished well. So it's 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 good for Damien to get a goal as well. 
And for one, after 65 minutes, which is an incredible turnaround of events, Nicky Clee's done very well. I think Luca Haven's almost like shielded the defender away from him. He's got round to the byline, pulled it back, and a bit of a scramble, but you were there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not about single performances. I think everyone's done really, really well today. Um, and yeah, I've, I've, I've finished it off well. It's, it's come off Damien. Uh, and I've just kind of teed it up and, and just directed it towards goal. And luckily enough, it's gone in. Nine goals for you now. You must be delighted with the way you started uh, live here at the Jay Davidson Stadium. Yeah, nine goals is is, is good for me. I'm, I'm happy with that. I, I said at the start of the season, um, I usually set myself a bit of a target, but this year it, it were a bit different. I just wanted to try keep up with Damien Reeves because obviously he's, he gets 40 every year. So I just wanted to keep up with Damien and... Um, yeah, I'm keeping up with him, so I'm, I'm happy with nine. And a very important win, because if we drop points today, then one or two of the teams at the top of the table would have been getting ahead of us. The top four in the end have all won, but that keeps us nicely tucked in in third position, just two points behind Hensford and a point behind Brackley. Yeah, it, it was um, imperative that we got a win today. After after last week, everyone's been disappointed. We've, we've been pretty quiet in, in training, kind of. Um, just disappointed. It's not a true reflection of us. Um, so we, we've all been disappointed. Um, we've, we've performed badly at first half, but it's shown a lot of character to turn it round second half. So I'm delighted that we've got that win. And we don't really want to be looking around us. We're, we're sitting in a nice position. So um, we'll just, it's a bit of a cliche, but we'll, we'll keep taking each game as it comes. So we'll look to the next game, and that's Brackley. So. And you know what it's uh, what's needed to sort of be at the top of this league. You've been towards the top of the league with uh, Geisley for a few seasons now, suffered some heartbreak in the playoffs. But uh, how do you think Altrincham is shaping up in terms of uh, the season, in terms of either winning the league or getting into the playoffs? Uh, we've, we've got a good chance with Geisley. Uh, we were always first or second. I mean, I mean last year we're, we're different. Chester ran away with it, so we're, we were always going to finish, finish second. So we kind of knew we were always in playoffs. But this year it's totally different. There's there's four or five teams that are looking as if they could challenge. Um, so as, as I say, we, we'll just keep taking uh, each game as it comes, keep tying up the points, and we, we've definitely got a side that, that can challenge. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep plugging away. He scored two in this fixture last season, came on as a sub for guys. He scored two late goals to beat Altrincham 3 in what was a very accomplished performance by Geisley. Three this afternoon, it's a fixture you like. Yeah, it seems to work well for me, so maybe I should uh, get somebody to put a, a bit of money on next time this fixture comes around. Uh, no, no, it's you've, as, as I keep saying, you just take each game as it comes and I, I've just got to look to, to Brackley and, and hope I perform well next week because... Um, there's Perry that ain't gone today, um, and we've we've got a great strike force. So I've got to make sure that I keep my starting place. So I just just hopefully keep performing well. That is James Walshaw scored a hat trick in uh, a quarter of an hour today to put Altrincham into a four-one lead ultimately, and that's three points in the bag for Lee and its team. Next game two weeks today against Brackley at home. That's going to be a massive encounter and hopefully we'll have a big crowd at the Jay Davidson Stadium for that.